I was at home, it was Saturday afternoon, and uh, the phone rang, and it was a, a, a sister from, from the hospital who I didn't know. And she said to me, we hear that you are a, a, a man of prayer, and that you walk with God. And I said, yeah, you know, I, I walk with God to the best of my ability, and by His grace, why, what's the problem? And we got a man here who is uh, trying to commit suicide, and he's on his way out in the respect that he drank caustic soda. And his throat is burnt away, and his stomach is burnt away, and he, he's on his way out. And we just feel it would be nice if somebody would come and, and, and pray for him, you know. And these uh, were two sisters, actually, and they were unbelievers. And uh, I said, no, I'm, I'm coming. And uh, I went, and uh, in this little room that they had him in, there was a big, solid, plate glass window. Uh, you could see inside quite comfortably, and there was a microphone in between the, 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 their office and this room. And the sister said to me, she said, you better put this mask on. I said, what for? She said, the stench that is coming from his body, she said, you, you will not be able to handle it. You, you, you will get sick. And immediately, I, I, I didn't even hesitate. You know, I said, nonsense, nonsense. I don't, I don't believe that. You know? And as I walked out and to, to go to this room, I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, no odor, thank you. Opened the door, walked in, there was no odor. And uh, I started speaking to this fellow. And I, you know, I, I don't know how other people engage with, with, the, with the Lord. Perhaps sometimes I overstep the mark and I, I take free license and I question God. And uh, yeah, you know, and he, he seems to put up with my nonsense. And I just said to him, I said, you know, this is an unfair situation. This, this man needs to speak to me. I, I need to know something. Come on, I mean, you know, let's get on the same wavelength as it were. And uh, the Lord honored it. And this is a man without a throat. And uh, it wasn't the, the best of, 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 of sound, but uh, I could understand what he was saying. And I asked him, I said, why, why on earth did you go down this road? And he said, he said, I came out of prison. He said, I made one mistake in my life and it cost me to go into prison. He said, I vowed I would never go down that path again. But he said, all of my family have rejected me. My parents, everybody, brothers, sisters. He said, you know, what, what is there in, in life? There's, it's just nothing. I can't start in the way. Nobody wants me. And I said, you're wrong, you know. Jesus wants you. And uh, I spoke to him about Jesus and so forth. And uh, verbally, I mean, he, verbal utterance. He accepted and received the Lord Jesus Christ as his personal saviour, throat to no throat, uh, stomach bubbling with caustic soda. And uh, I left and I was able to minister to the two sisters. And uh, actually that was a kickoff uh, of a start of a, a, a prayer meeting, a lunchtime prayer meeting at Wentworth Hospital. By the time I got home, the phone rang and it was a sister and she was crying. She said, uh, he's gone. Uh, so I said, I said, well, at least we know where he's gone. You know, that's the, the bottom line. It's, you know, that's like good news, you know.